from Singapore. We're so excited to be here in Singapore. I can't wait to explore. First thing we gotta do is find the metro. We have made it to our hotel here in Singapore and it's actually pretty nice. We were a little worried because it was very, very cheap compared to all the other hotels here in Singapore, but it's not bad. It's really tiny, but it'll do for the next few days. Mm -hmm. And there's AC and that's all I care about. Yes. Now, I think we're just gonna probably shower because we feel yeah. pretty gross after our flight. And then after resting for a bit, we will head out and explore the city of Singapore. Mm -hmm. So I just finished taking a shower in our tiny little hotel and there's one thing about this washroom that's a little bit weird. So here's the shower right here and at first glance seems great. Shower, shower curtain, shower, shower curtain makes perfect sense. But then there's also a toilet inside of the shower. So the toilet just gets really wet. And then there's the sink out here. So I feel like sink should have probably been over there. And the toilet probably should have been over here. Yeah, we paid like nothing for this hotel, so we'll deal with it. We're excited to eat some food and we looked up this one place that is supposed to be like this indoor hawker market that's really popular, so we're gonna go check it out. Center. It's so big and it's actually housed in like a rebuilt Victorian building I believe and it's really beautiful. It's so big. It kind of reminds me of Borough Market a little bit. Yeah a little right? bit. Borough Market in London. But we're so excited. We're gonna have a hard time choosing what to eat. What's great about this market is that they have food from like so many different cuisines. You can get Thai food, Vietnamese food, Indian food, Malaysian food, uh, Singaporean food. You get everything basically. So it's really difficult to choose. I know. We're like so indecisive already and this is making harder. Yeah. But there's this one thing that we want to try which is called the carrot cake. And it's not like Western carrot cake at all. But we've heard it's really good so we're gonna, I think we're gonna order that. So we got our food and we got an awesome looking spread. We got a pumpkin fried noodle, the carrot cake thing that I was talking about which looks nothing like carrots or anything like cake so I have no idea how this is gonna taste. And we also got some satay, like the grilled skewers. I'm just, I can't wait to eat all this. And it was actually really affordable too. I think the satay was like 10, I'm not positive. Sandy went and got it. She's gone to get some iced tea right now and the noodles as well as the uh, carrot cake thing were six each. So that's not bad, six Singaporean dollars each. So total is like 22 Singapore dollars, probably another 250 for our iced tea. Now we just gotta sit here and wait because uh, I feel like Sandy wouldn't be very happy if I started eating without her. I'm feeling very satisfied after that meal. And now it is time to head over to the bay. Marina Bay. Can't wait to see the merlion. The merlion? Yeah. A real merlion? It's a lion's head with a fish's body. A real one? No. No. Oh. It's kind of crazy how different different parts of Singapore are. Like where we're staying in Little India, it's like not that far from here, but it looks completely different. It looked really similar to Malaysia. Yeah. And now here, it basically feels like we're in New York or something. Yeah, it's very metropolitan all of a sudden. Mm -hmm. And the buildings are huge. So I think uh, we should actually change our hotel plans, cancel our current hotel, and uh, stay in that one instead. I mean, if we stayed up there, it would probably use our entire budget for the rest of the year. But think about how cool it would be. Probably not a good idea. 
I think like I think literally one night in that hotel would probably cost like the equivalent of like seven nights in our hotel. <laughs> probably no, more. actually more, definitely more. Yeah, we didn't pay very much. But you know what that hotel probably doesn't have? <laughs> a toilet in the shower, so I think we're winning. Okay. Why have a toilet? In the bathroom when you can have a toilet in the shower. Yeah. You can poop and shower at the same time. You don't even need toilet paper. You can You're just it good to go. We are now braving our way through the crowd. And we're heading to Garden by the Bay. Should be good. There's apparently a light show or something. Slowly making our way over. We're heading over this pretty nice bridge, and then I think we're going over a fancy bridge. Yeah, the Helix Bridge. Should be exciting. So that is the bridge that we were just on, and it definitely looks much cooler from down here than it does when you're walking on it, to be honest. So pretty cool though. I get, uh, now I get why it's called a helix bridge, because it looks like a, like a helix. And that makes perfect sense. I was very confused. We have made it to the gardens. Mm -hmm. It's very dark out here. So hopefully we can capture how awesome it is on the camera. in a different planet, like the movie Avatar. Yeah, it's really cool. So cool. Watch the super trees come to life as we unveil a dazzling showcase of lights and musical treats. We have made it to the cloud forest. It's basically like we're in like an indoor rainforest right now. Really cool. Next up, the Lost World. We're gonna see some dinosaurs. Jurassic Park. Let's go. It does kind of look like we're in Jurassic Park right now. Wow, this cloud forest is seriously so magical. I definitely recommend anyone who comes to Singapore to buy the admission ticket to the cloud forest. We were walking all the way up there and now we are walking down here and eventually we will make our way way back down over there somewhere. We had amazing time at the Garden by the Bay. It was the perfect way to end our first day here in Singapore. We really loved the cloud forest especially. It's, it's a must visit. And the super tree area is just so cool and magical. I just want to stay here for another hour just to take pictures. It's getting pretty late. Yeah, we definitely need to head back home. But you definitely need to come to this garden if you are ever in Singapore. And make sure you stay for the dancing trees because it's super super cool. But now I think we're gonna head home because we had a pretty busy first date. Yeah for sure. We're super tired so we'll see you guys in the morning. <laughs>